Are you stumped on the difference between long tail and short tail keywords? Do you want to know which one to use in your SEO strategy? In this video, we will break it down and show you exactly how each keyword works and how they will help you get ahead in search engine rankings. First, let's define what a keyword is. It's a word or phrase that people type into search engines like Google when looking for something specific. Now, let's break down short tail and long tail keywords. Short tail keywords are shorter phrases that can be more generic or broad. They usually get higher search volume than long tail keywords due to their broader scope, but they often don't convert as well because they lack specificity. These short tails keywords are also highly competitive. Examples of short tail keywords include electric toothbrush or omelet recipe. Long tail keywords are longer phrases of three or more words that focus on a specific niche of an industry or topic. They usually don't get as much search volume as shorter words, but they tend to be more targeted with higher conversion rates because they are so specific. Examples of long tail keywords include best electric toothbrush for toddlers or how to make a cheese omelet. So, it's important to consider both long tail and short tail keywords when optimizing your website for SEO, and there are advantages and disadvantages to each type. Long tail keywords can help you reach a more specific audience, but they have less search volume than short tail ones. Conversely, short tail keywords provide you with more potential customers at once but may not always convert as well due to their lack of specificity. So that's all from our side. If you found it informative and helpful, please give us a thumbs up and let us know what you think in the comments below. To stay up to date with our latest SEO videos, subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for future uploads.